system of hard games but mm, I don't know perhaps I just think it's easy because I'm used to playing it well, same as Super Ghosts and Goblins I bet I could beat this game Super Ghosts and Goblins without save stating uh, but it would make a very enjoyable let's play <laughs> that's the problem uh, you have to be really good at playing hard games as a let's play um, I saw some guys beating like um, what was it ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 on hard with Cheng Tsang and well he just killed every enemy and when I play ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 on hard I get my ass kicked <laughs> but then again I haven't played it for years so I don't know the in and outs of how to beat the enemies properly every time oh well I'm uh, drifting away with my thoughts uh, what I did play was Castlevania 1 and 3 um, 1 is really hard too and considering I never I didn't really own a Nintendo system uh, I well yes so never really played Castlevania 1 my cousin only had the Mega Man games Faxenadu I think he didn't even have the Zelda games I played Zelda 1 at a friend's house but uh, I had an Amiga when I was younger and bought Super Nintendo. I had a Super Nintendo for a very long time and after Super Nintendo bought a PC. Hm. I don't really know when I got a PC. The PC was about when Sam the Sorcerer or what was out. No. Anyways, um, console wise I'm more like a Super Nintendo kid. I did play some Genesis at a friend's house, I did play some Nintendo on a friend's house, but nothing where I can say, well, I, I master these games. <laughs> and I guess, well, hard games depends on the eye of the beholder, of course. Uh, some people are better at jump and run, some people prefer strategy games more. One of my... I really don't want to say biggest achievements because achievements in video games are like kind of like yes I won at the Special Olympics. Um, uh, it's like b -b 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 I beat Duke Nukem on them. I'm good and Doom on Inferno, but uh, it wasn't that enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> beating those games. I don't know if you ever tried to do this or if you actually did it. Um, the problem is the enemies respawn after three seconds except you blow them up with a uh, rocket launcher or something then they usually stay dead and it's more like you don't really kill the enemies you just run through the level. Yeah. And like I said, this is just a let's play channel. I don't try to say, oh, I have the biggest thingy of all. Look at me and <laughs> I beat all these games. I just want to entertain people. And this is Medusa, and she has no nipples. And she stoned me. Hey! The problem with her is you don't get an orb, so now I have to survive the last part of this level with this health bar. Oh well. Just have to be careful. Uh, the time limit is pretty leeway. You don't really have to hurry. I think the later levels require some quickness, but uh, nothing too harsh. Medusa, I, I don't know why Medusa ha is the only boss that doesn't have an orb in this Castlevania. Ah, health. Nice, now I can. I don't know why they give me health now. Oh, okay. There is still some part. 
Um, yeah, like I said, this is a remake actually of the Castlevania 1. And considering with its uh, hardness, it's it's nothing compared to it, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, what else? I don't really have anything planned really as Let's Plays. Uh, I have about next week, which will be stressy, and then I will most likely have some more spare time. I hope at least. <laughs> I really, really hope. Um, I watched some of Wazoka's live streams. You can actually go to her page, uh, www.livestream.com slash Wazoka. It's a small r, I don't know if it really matters. And watch the history. So I, I, I even uh, guest commentated in some of them. I think. Ah, I shouldn't be distracted. But uh, Christmas time, I will, like I mentioned sometimes, play some of these Bible games uh, just for fun. I am not really Mr. Religious or something. Uh, but I try not to annoy people by playing them so I won't make fun of any religion, religious kind of stuff, it's everyone else uh, decision, what they like, what they don't like. And I do respect it that people may get upset if you make fun of religion or something. Uh, if I make fun, I make fun of the games. And actually, I did I did really play test some of these games. They aren't that bad. There was like one of uh, one Zelda clone and it was playable. I mean, that's what I what's kind of okay I don't really expect to be washed away by Moses running around shooting stuff at other people and answering riddles of the Bible which kind of scared me because I was pretty good at these riddles anyways uh, we will see we will see if some people call me heaven and try to burn my house down feel free uh, to come over <laughs> I will bake cookies for you, only for you. And I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty uh, surprised that I haven't used a safe state yet. I wasn't even really near having to need one. I, I try not to use safe states in this play game. So yes, okay, of course. Now I said it. Now I will safe state the hell of this game. But I know it can be beaten with. Uh, Ease, well, quotation mark, ease. The clock tower is pretty harsh, if I remember right. And the gauntlet before Dracula. And some of the jumps, but. Hmm. Those are indestructible. Anyways, um, people really enjoyed my Deja Vu Let's Play. Uh, it, was a pretty it was a pretty good game. I even enjoyed playing it as a kid. <laughs> I was always scared when I played these games. <laughs> I was like, what, six years old? And having to walk around, death every corner, it was pretty frightening. It's better to use this jump in the middle on this thing because 